Shared and pooled rides are horrible for drivers. In other words, passenger discounts almost always translates to the unfavorable for us drivers. What up, folks? Once again, it is your boy Tim with another unfortunate ride sharing video. Now, this comes from a Fox Business article titled Uber Expands Pooled Ride Option to Five More Cities. Those unfortunate markets are Baltimore, Nashville, Philadelphia, PA, Washington, D.C., and Miami, Florida. Now, if you're already aware, there are already in a host of major markets already to begin with. New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, San Francisco, Phoenix, San Diego, Portland, Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, and Pittsburgh, PA. We're talking about picking up a passenger and while taking that passenger to point B, being advised there is another passenger in between your pickup and drop-off locations that also wants to go along that route and has a destination even nearby somewhere. I am absolutely an opponent to this. If there's one thing I really hope that ultimately comes out of drivers striking, drivers gaining more power as the years go on, it's our ability to negotiate new shit that these companies keep adding. Because anytime they make changes, it's almost always to our detriment. Talking about from an aspect of the drivers. Why the hell do we have an issue with pooled rides, shared rides, putting two strangers in the vehicle going along the same route? Well, obviously, safety is a significant concern. You're also doing more work for less. But we're going to start out with safety because there are so many tentacles, so many avenues that this could go down to lead to something bad going on behind you in the back seat, such as you're putting two different personalities in a vehicle. You got somebody already in the car and then you're stopping along their route to pick up someone else. What if that person takes five or five minutes or so to come out of the house and the passenger behind you being late for work or late for an appointment is urging you to drive off? If you don't, when that other passenger gets in the vehicle, they already have a beef with each other because somebody's pissed that you took too long coming out. Same thing could apply with one passenger asking to make stops. I need to stop at the gas station for a minute. I got to use the bathroom. The other passenger may have somewhere to be. This also could lead to beef. What if one person likes hard, scream, heavy metal and wants you to turn your radio on the station that's playing that? Meanwhile, the other guy prefers a little bit of Snoop Dogg. Think that might work out? Could have folks arguing over the radio and shit like that. So there are so many avenues this could go through. What if one person is allergic to animals? And obviously, you know us rideshare drivers are required to let passengers in with service animals. So now you're going to tell the other passenger, by law, they have to deal with this. And if they get an allergy, it is what it is. Do you see how many areas this could go down that are not in the best interest of a driver having to deal with this shit? Last but not least, odors. We get stanky ass passengers all the damn time. So now you got to pick up someone else and tell them you need to put up with this until we get you to your destination. The amount of directions this could go that could lead to issues going on in the backseat behind you are literally infinite. Drivers, if you can, opt out of this shit. If you can avoid this from any aspect at all, try not to have two different strangers in your vehicle at the same time. I just do not see how it could be in your best interest at all. Because at the end of the day, it's your car they might be fighting in. And then obviously, they're doubling up the work because you're essentially taking two passengers on two trips and not seeing double the fare. But I'm going to give you the actual jargon coming from Uber themselves, and you just can hear the bullshit oozing out of the passage. Now, according to Uber, the company said it has been revamping its pooling option after spending months of listening to driver and rider feedback. Driver? What driver is going to be in favor with this shit? What driver is in favor of shared rides? Uber pooling. After all, both passengers are trying to get from point A to point B. They're going to want the trips regardless. 
I'd rather do them separately. If I'm going to get paid to do it anyway, we're out here to ride share. I don't need to stack these folks up. So this has nothing to do with driver feedback. That whole statement is bullshit. Now, rider feedback, perhaps, there are a hell of a lot of cheap passengers that want this trip to be cheap as possible that may be willing to sit in the car with a stranger. So it could be rider feedback, but it's definitely not driver feedback. But I'd invite you folks in the comments, particularly my veteran drivers. Do you see any upside to having two different personalities in your vehicle at once? Can you think of any way where this is beneficial to you as a driver? I sure as hell don't, but maybe you can enlighten me and maybe wake me up on some shit that I currently do not see at all. Nevertheless, they continue on by saying, with UberX share, riders will get an upfront discount. However, if they are matched with a co-rider, they can save up to 20% on the total trip cost. Let me tell you something as a driver. Passenger discounts are bad. We already have Uber and Lyft taking as much as 80% of some damn fares. Anytime the ride-sharing companies are offering passengers some kind of way to do this shit for cheaper, who do you think is going to absorb that cost? Who do you think is going to be ultimately giving that passenger a discount? Your ass is going to be doing that. Anytime they reduce the fares, reduce the cost of getting from point A to point B, ultimately drivers are the ones that absorb that reduction in fare. That's why I stated in the beginning, if there is anything we could ever get that would be favorable to drivers is having the ability for someone to genuinely speak on driver's behalf and sit down at the table with Uber or Lyft when they make these damn changes. Because I've been a rideshare driver off and on since 2014. I can't think of a single change they've made that is in the favor of drivers or that us drivers think, yeah, that was a good idea. Other than telling us where the hell we're going to go when we pick people up. That's about the only thing I favor is actually knowing the destination. And it took years to get them to do that. Same thing with tipping. It took years to get Uber to allow the passenger to actually tip through the damn app. So I'm not a fan of letting Uber tell me, I made a change and it's going to benefit you because that's bullshit. For years, they told us reducing the fare would bring more passengers to the platform and we would somehow benefit from that shit. We all know now that was a blatant lie. So we certainly need someone an entity to speak on behalf of the drivers because this right here where the drivers were uh, driver feedback and the drivers were in favor of this shared riding shit is bullshit but last but not least listen to this the company also touted that combining rides cuts down on gas usage and vehicle miles which effectively make transportation more affordable for drivers ain't that some shit if you take two personalities in your vehicle at the same time, giving them a 20% discount, perhaps, yeah, but it's going to save you gas. It's going to save transportation wear and tear on your car. The 20% is eating up any benefits you would have acquired by doing this shit. So, yeah, you're saving me miles by putting them in the same car, going to the same location, putting me at risk of getting my ass kicked from some shit behind me. But you're going to cut their fares by 20%. That's not a win-win. That's I don't think it's a win even for the damn passengers because some of them might get their ass kicked by the person sitting beside them. But that's a future video because that will happen. But nevertheless, I wanted to make this video because I'm getting sick and tired of the companies doing shit and then telling us this is in your best interest. It's not. It is not in your best interest. If you can avoid Uber pool, these shared rides and all of this bullshit, putting two strangers in your car at the same time and hoping they get along and hoping everything goes smoothly, avoid it. I'm going to tell you. Now, obviously, there's. it's not always going to go bad, but the, you're increasing the statistical probability of something going wrong by putting another stranger in the car. Hell, just simply dealing with one stranger. I've been doing videos for a year and I got unlimited content on drivers getting their ass kicked, getting their car stolen, getting raped, getting killed just from dealing with one stranger. Now you're going to put a second one in the vehicle. 
There is no safety upside from this at all. It's all negative from a safety aspect. But I don't see any positive aspect from it from a pay issue either. Let me know in the comments what you think of this shit. I hope someone can point out something where maybe I'm getting it wrong. Show me some shit and rainbows that would make me feel better about this. Because right now I'm upset. As always, it's your boy Tim. Subscribe to the damn channel and I'll see you later.